Reggaeville Massive, this is Munchie in Kingston, Jamaica with Edward O'Sullivan Lee, and you must know the man much better as Bonnie Striker Lee, the Gargan, the original man himself. How are you feeling today, sir? Great. Yes, great. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. You have such a long, long history in reggae music. You were one of the major forces when Ska started Rocksteady and, and the early reggae days. But you, even before that, were not really into the music, right? Because you were an engineer and you no, used to work in a garage. Plugger. Oh, I used okay, to, yeah. Before that, I used to work at yeah. Unimotors and KIG. Yes, yes. So how, how did the music enter that, your yeah. life? Huh? How did the music enter your life, or you entered the music scene? Well, Derek Morgan and myself used to go from Duke Reed Studio and okay. so on, you know. Yeah. And I heard you also used to dance, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So you still enjoy the dancing by now? Well, a little, you okay. know. Not as nimble as I used to be. <laughs> yes, but. A bit too. Yeah. So you said it already, you were a record plugger. Um, what does a record plugger do, or what did you do? A record plugger is a man that takes the re records, like Duke Reed, Coxon, and Leslie Kong those days record, and a man named Calton, Kalnick, we call him Ken Lock, and Joe Gibbs, mm -hmm. to the radio station and get them play. Okay. Yeah. So what what were your favorite records in that time or your favorite artists that you pushed and out there and, and brought to the radio stations back then? Well, yeah, a lot of good artists those days, you know. For instance, you have Slim Smith, he died some time ago. You have Derek Morgan. Prince Boss himself was an artist, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. You have a lot of artists those days. Yeah. Young Bob Marl was just coming through. You know, it was Derek Morgan that record Bob first. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, when Bob sing a tune name um, was singing and the people them didn't want to hear it, Derek Morgan come out and say, give the youth a chance and sing a tune name, George Nathan won a cup of coffee. And mm -hmm. yeah. Derek was the ENR man at Leslie Kong, tell him yeah. to come and record him. And yeah. so Bob, Robert Nesta Malik's yes. career start that before the wheelers. You know. Yeah, wicked, wicked, yeah. Wicked. And um, your first song that you recorded um, with um, let let the music be. What? No, um, do it to my baby. Oh, do it to my baby. What's the first one? It was a group, light and the groovers. Right. Suck it to my baby with Derek Morgan saying that. <laughs> Isn't it good to hear the sound of music? The rocks at the beat, you know. So how did and you get from to, to produce this record actually from being the record plugger before that? Well, Joe Creed gave me the shooter time, you know. And I find twenty pounds and give Lint it and then played four tunes for me. Do it to my baby, which Kianik put out, and music feel was the second mm -hmm. one on the session with Roy Shirley. It came out on World, and one named Wallflower with Kenneth Rose, and one named Return Home with Alba Lewis, Reggie. Yeah. yeah. But by that time, which was 1967, you did not have your own label as yet. So how no, did that I, come about? Well, I decided to put um, Do It To My Baby and Calton label, but yeah. music feel West Indies record. Yeah. Bonnery said I could have my own label, so it come out and Lee, L. Lee record before Leeds. Oh, okay. Yeah, music feel and music feel was a hit too. It went number five in the Jamaican top 20. So how can I imagine was your work back then? So as a, we say, you're a, you were a producer, you had a label. What did you actually really do? Were you in the studio, on the mixer, with the filters and what have you and what have you? Or you not, were more like not directing not it? Or? Yes, oh, yes. Okay, okay. Listen, those days it was um, a guy named Byron Smith. And then Linford Anderson was at um, World Record, West Indies Record, and a guy named Buddy Hepson was at Federal Record. Okay. So yes, but I used to, after Juke, 
I went to West Indies record and become the house producer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lee Perry used to work there, but them, them same was making any heat and <laughs> I take over, took over from them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And so you did Ska Rocksteady and eventually we ended up with reggae, reggae. or what was then called Strege, right? Yeah, reggae so started what is at Duke Ridge Studio in 68, you know. Strege was like a bad girl, you know, man said them girls are Strege, like, you know, you know, like a prostitute, like, oh, yes, yeah. them type of loose woman, you know. So the radio station play it and we yeah. come up with the name yeah. Reggae afterward, okay. right? But there's the organ shuffle in the music, mm -hmm. sorry, no, sorry. No. Yeah, we was doing a tune, bongo chant. And Glenn Adams was some new musician. Yeah. They couldn't own angle cards, so we changed it to um two card. Okay. Mumana bang around. Lester Sterling come yeah. up with the whole concept. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. And uh Stranger Cone and right to sing. Mumana yeah. one bang around. That's all and Lester do the musical, the instrumental part. And the rest is history. Yeah. At the organ shuffle in the music, that though, the that, that is reggae. If you take out the organ shuffle, the music go right back to Rocksteady, you know. Mm -hmm. So the organ shuffle kind of speed it up a little. Okay. Yes. So because Duke Reed first started the Rocksteady, and most people was saying it a little too slow. Mm -hmm. To it coming yeah. from Skia, and yeah. then the organ shuffle kind of carried up back, and yeah. you know. So it's been rock, rock, um, what you call it now? We had another beat, you know, we called it Janko Skank, like mm -hmm. Dopey Conqueror, Better Must Come. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley do that, the I do Better Must Come with Dead Roy Wilson with the Creep Organ. Mm -hmm. We call that Janko Skank. Yeah. <laughs> but plenty of the so called historians don't does know about that yeah. either. You know, yeah. Dirk Morgan sing a tune to do the Janko Skank. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the creep organ. Okay. You understand? Yeah, man, I, I so, we we go right eventually when we reach the reggae now, we just stay there, you know? But at that time when, when reggae just came up, did you have in mind that it could in, evolve into such a huge thing? that it is now today with so many su successful groups all over the world picking up the music? No, we just do it, you know. And a lot of people say they do it first. Because when we was do it reggae, Toots was in prison. Him come out and do a tune, him do the reggae. Him mm -hmm. hear we with reggae on the sound. The first reggae tune was a tune with my brother named Donald and Tony Lee. Mm -hmm. Name is Reggae Time. Yes, you understand? Yeah. So, a lot of people claiming the name. Some people used to say, Nanny Goat is the reggae tune. Nanny oh, Goat okay. is a rock steady tune. It have a pretty organ intro and organ solo, yeah. but it don't have the shuffle. Yeah. Cox and Purse tune, that is a reggae, is Baby Why. It have the reggae shuffle in it, that Jack, Jackie Mito or Whosoever was at Cox and play. Yeah. But in the, the organ shuffle in the music, you call it reggae, you know. Yeah, yeah that's it. Come like with this care. There's a man named Clue J and the Blues Busters. He used to play Chloe Johnson. And I was trying to make them play the guitar. Make the guitar go skia, skia. And, you know. The name, the name was born. Everybody say scare. Yeah. But until now, to the, you see the scare? Mm -hmm. It don't leave the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The scare is the backbone of Jamaican music. Him from Jader days, him sling thing that Jamie do, him dub in a scare. Yeah. A scare piano and cha, scare, scare is the backbone of Jamaican music. Without that, yeah, be pop. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. So, 
If Ska not in it, it's not, not Jamaican music. Ska never leave the music. Whether you're doing rock steady, Ska, reggae or anything like that. And one, one more genre that, that we didn't mention as yet, but you, that you were also involved um, in together with Toby was oh, the yeah, dub, well, right? <laughs> so how that came about? Ah. One evening was a joke with Sude, and a guy named Roddy Redwood from Spanish Town was a club owner. He was also a producer too. He had one of the biggest sound in Spanish Town. He used to play a lot of rhythm and blues and um, was cutting some dub at Duke Reed Studio and was saying to the musician, make the music go, you know, put in the vocal and he forgot Byron Smith, the engineer, to, to, to put in the vocal okay. and Roddy said, don't stop it. I said, but the dub going for him, I said, no, make it play, and I take the rhythm, and then I said, cut the one with the voice. Oh, okay, okay. So the Saturday night, I went over to Spanish Town where I was playing, and when I play, I said, when well, I play part two, I started playing the one where we, he played the, the, the voice, and it went down well. Then when I done play the rhythm, everybody started singing what was happening okay. and i said to toby, to toby's the man the morning toby said the joke business will open up a joke with you we we'll want to do it you know mm -hmm. because it mash up spanish town so we start doing it now but we do it a little more clever we start with the voice and the rhythm and then you drop out the the the, the voice and the pure rhythm mm -hmm. so people start saying that um toby's above Amplify that in Bill can take the rhythm, mm -hmm. take the voice out of the rhythm, oh, and you know. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> as time go by, we, we tell people what was happening, oh, and yeah, then yeah. you rise start talking over the rhythm, and yeah, yeah. the rest is history. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and, and uh, it was also you who encouraged um, yeah, yeah. Toby to, to to put in like gunshot and all kind of effects. Yeah, well, and all. when now uh, Toby's thing start now, Toby's was going up. Uh, Contest. I took Uri to England for a lady named Miss Eisen King. And Tobias was going to have a contest with a son named Tipper Tone. And now Tipper Tone have a bad DJ named Big Youth. You know, and Tobias big start get nervous now because the Miss DJ was him. I said, No, Tobias. We have a DJ with a son like him named Ira in a Spanish song. I'm bringing Ira and Ira start. So, but we decided to make some special. Ray Shirley sing a special name, Joe Reza and them thing. And Toby's have a little one room and a little um, bathroom. And we soundproof it up and we start, we buy the special in there. And the curtain. Yes. And then, you know, I went up to England when I come out here, Toby's win the contest and then we just decide to bring bring the vice and make the rhythm and start vice the tune at Toby's. Toby's just draw the curtain and we we soundproof the little bathroom and the next thing. Yeah. Toby's have a little board that him build. Mm -hmm. But I get a poor truck. Board now, Byron Lee bring in a poor truck board, mm -hmm. and he didn't have the space, so I take it from him and carry it up at Toby's. I work out, so Byron, I will give some music mm -hmm. for this, mm -hmm. and carry it up at Toby's. The poor truck board, it was a custom built board, Atlantic, Atlantic board, mm -hmm. and it have a high pass filter on it, okay. and two. Two four truck machine, and I'm going to tell you, man, after that, you now we start experiment with the iPass filter, and then we start with the drum and bass, and the rest is history. Yeah. But speaking of IRO, one more time, because one thing that also that you kind of put out there was that thread between IRO and Prince Jasper. 
So before what was that about? No, before that, no. Yeah. Well, I ride, you <laughs> say imitate, you ride. You know. Okay. Yeah, huh? So one evening, a guy from Canada named George come and was cutting some some dub, and I ride was doing a tune, and him said, "Tease Jasba was in the studio." Him said, "Jasba man, if he was a jukebox, so he put a dime in his slash." <laughs> Slot and move out the way jazz bubble before you get crushed. And you know. And everybody laugh. So when I ride don't don't run down the tune, I say, Yes, I the tune that, you know. So Jazz Bob said, No, Mr. Lee can't put out a tune like that to the mother call up my name. I say, Cool man, I'm come on to the tune, so Jazz Bob. So well the only thing you have to do is answer him back. Yeah. And Jazz Bob come a couple of days. He man, you brown, so boy, I'm here the boy, just but I mean, I write, I call up your name, and just some man call up people name to get promotion. And mm. I write, you a boy, you imitate the great, you write. <laughs> and <laughs> when you write, you write, you write, laugh till him drop on, because my I write didn't really, you know, yeah. I write, try to imitate him and take him style, go on like, him is you are, you know. So that that was music to to you are, yes, man. You are, I laugh tonight till him drop on the floor, you know, and then we we'll put out the tune and the two tune now start one. But when it reached England, you have a guy named Count Shelley. Count Shelley loved the experiment and the excitement. They used the third word and put it out. And it create a big scene now, you know. Yeah, I have a documentary coming out, you know, this year to tell you. You, you see, Jasbo was on it before he died. I ride die before him too, you know. Cause plenty of our old time artists pass away too. Yeah. So the documentary is coming out this year, but we also what we have here too is yeah, the book, yes, book that no. came Reggae come Wine with it. Exactly, it has yeah. a lot of lot of nice pictures in it. Yes, and, and it have, and it have a CD in it too. You know. It have a CD with with twenty two track in it. Music, feel my conversation with Slim Smith. The Russians are coming with Bal Bennett. Wet Dream with Max Romeo, Bangarang, Lester Sterling and Stranger Cole, Olang, Pat Kelly, a Thousand Town of Megaton, Ura, Mr. Chatterbox, Bob Marley, Stick by Me, John Holt, Chero Baby, Better Must Come, Played Cool Altanelis, God Help the Man, Leroy Smart, You Are My Angel, Ori Sandy, None shall escape the judgment with Johnny Clark. Dance in a Greenwich Farm, Colonel Campbell. Noisy Place, that is a version of Tubby's. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. the aggravators, a rope version, Tubby's again. Wake the Nation, you Ryan, Jeff Barnes. Jeff Barnes was a big announcer. This oh, okay. tuning named Cassius Clay, take Dennis, Bro Den Dennis Al Capone to England. Oh. And straight to Dirk Morgan Ed. <laughs> you understand? That yeah. that is a um I ride to that tune there too. Then strictly rockers with justice. Yes. And so yes. all of the history in there. Yeah, really plenty, in, plenty. In much more detail. Yeah. Dream by Max Romney. That yeah. is something that I would I would still like to talk about for just a few minutes because what I realized with this y the wet dream was people were oh my god how can someone put such lyrics oh dear I did that. I and write that lyrics yeah you know, and I would go to England and hear some people yeah. talking about yeah. the wet and dream also, also wet they referred they with with yeah. Jasbo and 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 Iro. those are things that are even now these things rule the dance yeah. hall so wet dream is a song <laughs> that um is a version to Derek Morgan Woolly Jack you know who would be smart to hold your job, make me time a genie. Mm -hmm. And I want Derek was to sing it, but Derek said, I'm not going to sing them slack songs eh, at the day. Right. So, 
Pat Kelly wouldn't sing it slim smith, so I turned to Maxi and said, as the sales man, you always want to go on a flip side for make your girlfriend here. If you don't sing this song, don't come to work tomorrow. So I'm going with my Glenn Adams. Go. Coxon. Coxon was the engineer, but Coxon gone, so I'm apprentice. E.T. that died, he was working at Joe Gibbs and them thing. That's the first tune him take. I said, come on, youth, we could take this tune. And when they do some cocks and come and stop the session and say, Jacks, I do them kind of thing in my studio, you know. And it up, must, it up a rub off. I said, beat me in a rub off tune. And anyway, you send it to a, as a flip side, go get Palmer and the next thing. Palmer called me and said, the tune in the British chart. It spent 26 weeks in the British chart. Yes. But those are the things that, that now dance all live off from people. You know, somebody teasing someone and somebody getting back on yeah. that or the slackness tunes and people still gravitate to it. So at that point you yeah. already think it, you already had that in mind or you you felt no, the impact that's in going the to happen. The days they have Prince Buster and Derek Morgan too, you know. Oh true. Yes, yeah, so you know. Those things sell records too, you know. Blackhead shiny man and Yes. People just like that. Yes. Blazing <laughs> fire and <laughs> Well I see I see bounty killer them do it too and you right, know. Right, probably right, don't right, create right. the impact like Dirk Morgan and Prince Buster and um Ira and Jasbo. Yeah. But it it won. It, it started from and, there though. And being my yes. Yeah, all of that yeah. From there. We start most of these things, the music, with the reggae thing, we start that too. Lee Perra and myself used to move like brother those days, you know, we on the same session and things like that. Yeah. Uh, when I got the, his job, I used to make him come back and do him recording. And we go out at night and the town and the club, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> And Clancy, Clancy, Clancy was around, he died now. Yeah. yeah. So, after all these years now being in the business for such a long time, how you, are you still observing the scene, what is going on? You, you still follow all of that? You have a, a favorite artist, like one of the youngsters yeah. then? Yeah, well, you have a lot of young artists coming up good. Good, you know, but in, like in the, old days like with Derek Morgan and Slim Smith and John Old Ken Booth and you know, Alton Ellis, Dennis Brown. Well Delroy was as you know is one of the greatest. De Dennis Brown called him and Slim Smith teacher, you know, that's why Dennis was so good. Dennis Brown learned to praise from Del Delroy Wilson, you know, and Slim Smith taught him how to play guitar. You know, you, you grew up around them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You have quite a few new artists you now. No car, look, look on Johnny Clark now. Johnny Clark still have it. Yeah, you understand? And where Johnny Clark go? Colonel Campbell, right. coming on strong now. Justich. Dillinger, start to, Dillinger is a great DJ too. You know. you know, one time Dillinger introduced Bob Marley to some people in France. You know. Dillinger was so big. Yes, you have Dillinger, Hugh Brown, you have quite a few people still. Nice. You know, that's true, that's true. still carrying the plug. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You have something I I don't hear much about him these days, Ken Parker, he was good oh, too. Yeah, John Holt and Ken Booth still carrying the plug, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, some, some of those singers die like Alton, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But the record live on because those guys is one of a kind, like Dennis Brown, Slim Smith. Look how much here Slim Smith die and they put on the music, it sound like you make it yeah. last night. Yes, true, true. You understand? Yeah. Slim Smith have the two most version tune in the business, you know. Tune in my conversation and 
One name I never let it go. We call that rhythm answer. Everybody, every era, somebody do over those tunes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're glad that they are carrying the flag, and of course yeah. you are still there with us, and you're sharing yeah, all this. To no, yeah, this sharing all century. of that with us. So, so I'm so. still with you, them. I'm yeah. a, I'm a son, youngest son. I'm yeah. take up the thing. Yeah. I'm carrying on. I'm I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a liquor striker, and yeah. you know, with, with, with um, people like Justice. Yeah. Where, where's Stitch? I'm going outside. Yes. I have a lot of coach, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, King Toby is not with us anymore, but you have Jammy, yeah. right, right. King Jammy now. Right. He and I did a lot of work too. Digital Bobby, I give him that name, Digital, you know. Oh. Yes. He will tell you. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Scientist. Mm -hmm. The yeah. scientist him name. In the yes, yeah. Gib Tob is the name, the mysterious Dr. Satan. Oh. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Good. So, you know. You have a lot of people abroad, too. We do a lot of music in England, too, you know. Yeah. Then, so yeah. Yes, Dennis Al Capone was used to live here and was a big sound man of, out here. Near my son, named El Paso, you know. Yes, you have to say I took him to England and you know, the tune him Wawa Ji Wawa Cassius Clay. That was the tune that took Dennis abroad. Yeah, man. Yeah. So. Thank you so much for sharing all the history yeah, with us this time. Pity, you know, Thank you so right. much, Mr. Yeah. Lee. And for all the people out there, you can watch a documentary. And of course, you can still read the book with yeah. a lot, a lot more details and lovely pictures and everything. Yeah. So wish you all the best. And I thank you so much for taking the time to, to okay, link up right. with regular today. Bless up. Bless up. One love.